Hey what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode on how to build a WordPress plugin from scratch. In this tutorial we're gonna continue the work on the custom taxonomy manager. Behind the scene I just completed this file to reactivate the first section of the custom taxonomy manager and emulate the same functionality of the custom post type manager. If we access our administration area you will see the usual table that it's basically identical to the custom post type manager. The only thing that I did of course was to replace all the parts like the options or the unique names that were referring to the custom post type manager and convert it into a taxonomy uh, unique keys and all the fields that I'm actually using for the taxonomy. I decided to not record this part of the tutorial because it's kind of boring and it takes really few seconds. If you're getting like stuck, if you have issue, remember that all my code is available online in my GitHub repository so you can grab the code and be at the same point as I am to continue this tutorial. But let's continue. So right now the situation that we have is just the regular taxonomy repeater field here like the table with all the information that we specified. We can add another taxonomy, we can edit the taxonomy, the methodology and the just the feature is identical to the custom post type and everything works. So if we edit something the edit will be reflected immediately in the first page. And then of course the delete works and we have an alert to confirm that we actually want to delete the custom taxonomy. We have a problem though because right now the taxonomy is not registered so it's not part of our WordPress administration area. We cannot tap that taxonomy here in the post pages we just have these categories and tags that are the default taxonomies of WordPress. This genre is not accessible anywhere because we didn't register this genre. So now it's time to actually register our custom taxonomy. Let's access our custom taxonomy controller and let's scroll all the way to the top inside the register method and right at the bottom after we create a sub page and we register our custom settings API and all this kind of stuff we have to do exactly the same that we're doing the custom post type controller so referencing this instance of this class and then create a method called store custom taxonomies and we don't need to pass any parameters so let's scroll all the way to the bottom of this file and let's create public method called store custom taxonomies of course and then in here we have to do exactly the same that we're doing in the custom post time manager so we need to get the taxonomies array inside our administration area then store those info into an array inside this class and then actually register the taxonomy so let's do it First we need to access the taxonomy array and we already have that, we have it in the actual template, the taxonomy.php, so we're getting the options, we get the option alicat plugin tax which is the unique name stored in our database and if we don't have that option automatically this inline short if statement is returning an empty array so all our methods will not generate a PHP error but the array is just empty so nothing will happen which is perfect, then we need to store all the information into an array and that array variable we already have it in our class but we never use it if we scroll all the way to the top before the register method we have this public taxonomies that it's an empty array but we never use this taxonomies variable because of course we never store the taxonomy so now it's time to use it let's copy this let's scroll all the way back to our method and let's say that this instance let's tap the taxonomies variable and let's add with the square brackets a new entry in that array and in that new entry we want to store another array. So also this taxonomy is going to be a multidimensional array because we're going to have multiple taxonomies value because it, this is a repeater field. And of course this method here, this taxonomy storing an array inside another array need to happen inside a for each loop. So for each options or for each taxonomies that we have in our options allocate plugin tax, we need to create this, we need to add this. So also in this case, the same identical way we're doing it in our template file, we can copy the for each here, paste it here and then indent properly this thing and then close the for each loop. Perfect. And actually let's give it a little bit of space so it's more readable. Awesome. Now we need to fill up this multidimensional array with all the information that a custom taxonomy needs. 
And because I'm lazy, of course, I copied all this stuff from the WordPress documentation because I don't want to manually write every single thing. But these are all the options that we should specify when we register a taxonomy, a custom taxonomy. So we have the name, the singular name, the search items, all items, parent item, parent item column, edit item, blah, 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 all the rest. And then these labels variable that it's an array on itself is going to be stored inside the actual taxonomy's multi dimensional array inside the labels attribute. So we have the hierarchical labels, show UI, show admin column, query var, and the rewrite. Now what we have to do, because this is just a copy paste from the WordPress documentation, we need to replace these hard coded names with, with the actual names that we specified in our options. And also in this case, it's exactly like we did for the custom post type manager. So we can remove this, the genres, and replace it with the dollar option with the attribute singular name and then we can copy this as well here of course here we have some discrepancy because we are not dealing with the uh, plural name but whatever you can add that option to the plural name I'm just like showing you how to deal with the important stuff then all the extra customization you can do it by yourself it's not a big deal so let's remove all the genre and let's paste it here parent and then here we can interrupt the script and then concatenate it oh actually this plus I shouldn't do plus sorry this is JavaScript I have to do <laughs> I have to use the period or the dot because the plus is JavaScript that was a huge mistake luckily I got it immediately so let's copy also this and edit the genre update edit the genre update add new genre new genre let's copy this that it's inside new genre name and here is directly the genre right here perfect now here we have to print the hierarchical that is has to be true or false and of course we don't we cannot print directly what we're storing because as we're doing in the taxonomies we're checking if this is set and if this is set is true otherwise it's false we need to do exactly the same but instead of returning like a string we need to actually return uh, the boolean so let's copy uh, this stuff and let's put in the hierarchical but let's replace the strings true and false with actual boolean true and false perfect the labels were passing this variable here that every for each is gonna be replaced and updated so let's remember always to put the labels inside the for each every time we have something to update we can leave the show UI admin column and query bar to true. We can add these options to be customizable in the taxonomy manager, but this is totally up to you. And here the slug needs to be exactly identical to the actual taxonomy ID that we're storing. So here let's replace this and the taxonomy ID is just simply taxonomy. Perfect. Let's save it. Let's go back in our administration era. Let's refresh and see if we made any mistake. No, no PHP error has been triggered, which is fantastic. Okay. The only thing that we have left now is to register the taxonomy. And to register the taxonomy, we have to do it with a built-in method of WordPress, of course, calling the register taxonomy method. And to do that, once again, we have to do exactly the same thing that we're doing a custom post type manager. So let's scroll all the way back up in the register method and right after the store custom taxonomies, let's check if our taxonomies array, it's not empty. So exclamation mark empty, that means it's not. And inside here, we wanna check if this taxonomies variable is not empty. That means we have some custom taxonomy that we can activate and we can trigger the add action in it during the initialization of our theme or our plugin and then we need to pass the array with the first parameter the instance of this class and the second the name of the method that we want to trigger specified as a string as usual so register custom taxonomy okay perfect Let's copy this name and let's finally create this publicly accessible method called register custom taxonomy. And to register the custom taxonomy is really, really simple because we already have everything stored properly inside this array. So we need to just loop through that array and call the built-in method of WordPress. So let's do it. First, let's create a for each loop and let's say for each dollar this 
taxonomies has singular taxonomy and inside the for each loop we can use the simply the register underscore taxonomy WordPress function and the WordPress function accepts three parameters the unique name of the taxonomy which is kind of like the ID of the taxonomy the full list of array that we have inside the taxonomy array and here be careful the for each doesn't have the closing bracket and then as a second parameter in between the taxonomy and the array of arguments we need the object type and the object type is actually the list of post pages or all the custom post types that we want this taxonomy to be associated with or to be accessible and we don't currently have this option but let's put a placeholder for now and we're gonna see how to customize this option in a second so first the taxonomy here we cannot just pass the entire taxonomy actually these is the array that contains all our options so this should be here as a third parameter inside here we need to pass the actual unique name which we don't have a parameter specified here because we cannot access it in this point but we have it inside the rewrite slug so we can access these specifying the rewrite option and then inside the rewrite option we can say hey give me this slug and then the object type for now let's simply specify a post to say associate this custom taxonomy to the post and actually let's pass this as an array because this can be passed as an array it's not an error and if we want to specify multiple things like posts pages or all the custom post type we can pass it as an array for now we're hard coding this but we're gonna fix it in a second so now let's save let's go back in our administration area let's see if we broke everything we didn't everything works perfectly and if we go on rollover on posts look what we have here the genre and we have a new genre create a name the slug and the taxonomy unique name is genre that's perfect so now just as a test let's create another type of taxonomy and let's call it for example chapter and this is chapter and the chapter is yes yeah, hierarchical as well save changes perfect the custom taxonomy manager works and in the custom post type or like sorry the regular post we have also the chapter taxonomy which is fantastic but it's not ideal because I don't want these to be hard coded I mean it's okay if I have just one post and I know that all my custom taxonomies they need to be associated to just the regular post but what if the user wants to uh, add or manually control where these custom taxonomies are associated to which custom post type so I want to give the user the ability to have a full list of checkboxes or radio buttons I would say checkboxes so the user can have multiple sections listing all the posts pages custom post types and maybe also comments I don't know basically all the things that the user can associate the taxonomies with and to do that I'm gonna do it in the next lesson because it's kind of complicated because I don't want to create a unique single field for every custom post type or regular post or post types that our WordPress installation has I want to create one unique field that has a repeater inside itself and stores all those information inside one single slot in our WP option in the same location of our custom taxonomy manager I don't want to create multiple options because it's gonna be too complicated Get it but I'm gonna do this in the next lesson if you want of course you can give it a try basically the methodology it's almost identical to all the things that we already did right now so you can definitely give it a try by yourself so it's pretty much it for today's lesson I hope you enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and if you want you can check the support me page of my website where you can find all different ways and methods to support me support my channel and help me to do better videos and better tutorials for you Thank you again guys and until the next lesson, as usual, happy coding!